Hello everyone. Hello, good evening. Where I am is evening. I don't know where you are, the time of where you are, but where I am is evening. Good afternoon if you are weather, if you are in the afternoon weather. Good morning if you are just waking up. And if you if you are waking up, I will tell you happy Sunday because for us here we are about to end this Sunday. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much. If you join us today, please let me know if you can hear me. I believe you can hear me anyway. So how is everything going? How is your weekend going? I know you enjoyed your yesterday, you're enjoying your today. I believe you achieved everything you want to achieve today. So today is another live stream that we have come to chat, you know, ask questions, discuss on something that is very, very important in our life. We are going to be talking about one fruit that everybody must have because that fruit is very, very beneficial for everyone. If you're on this planet Earth, you need this fruit in your life. You need this food. I'm just trying to wait for some people to come in. Please tell me if you can hear me. Say hi. Tell me you can hear me. We have 43 people already here. I believe we, we have to start because I don't want today's video to be a very long one. So today we are going to be discussing on one fruit that is very, very beneficial for everyone. Everyone needs this fruit because it is very, very good for our body. It's very, very healthy. It does a lot of things. The little of it goes a very long way. And it will help different kinds of issues, different kinds of sickness, different kinds of health issues. This particular fruit will help you to achieve a lot and this fruit we are talking about is one fruit we have in our house. We use them, maybe some people use it every day, like me. I use it every day. And I know what I have benefited. Hi, Terry Winters. Th thank you for joining us. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, Cindy. Hi, True Christians. Hi, Georgina. Defia. Hi, La Quaya, Washington. Hi, Kai, Kite Wag. I'm sorry if I butcher your name. <laughs> so sorry. Hi, NKMC TV. Hi, everyone that joined us. Very soon in this live, we are going to be inviting people that would like to come and share some testimony or something that you know about the topic we are treating. As time goes on, we will be inviting people to join us and tell us something they know about what we are talking about. And in that note, if you would like to join in the live stream, that will be an opportunity for you to also speak to people and tell people what you know about that thing we are discussing about. As time goes on, we'll be doing that so that we will have different contributions to what we are talking about. So this fruit that you must have in your kitchen, <laughs> this particular food you must have in your kitchen is this. How many people have this fruit in their house now? If you have this fruit in your kitchen, in your house right now, just let us know. Just say, I have it. This fruit, do you have it in your house? If you do not have it, you are missing a lot. This. I believe we all know what is this. This is lemon. It's a wonderful fruit. It is actually made, made for us to benefit our health. If you have this in your house, let us know in, your, in the comment section. You have this fruit in your house. Because if you do not have it, please go to the market and get, get it. 
you must need it in one way or the other you must need it last uh, the last stream we had was lemon and apple cider vinegar today this alone can give you lots of benefit and that is what we are going to look into today different things that you can benefit from lemon there are a lot we can benefit from lemon thank you so much for confirming that you have it i'm so happy to hear that many people watching me already have this in their house because if you have this that means you know the benefit of it and if you have it and you might not know what you can benefit from this you might know few of what you can benefit and we are here today to discuss many benefits that you can get from lemon thank you so much cindy quintala thank you so much for joining us i might not be able to call everyone so that we can jump into the benefits of the benefits that we can benefit from lemon i have my notes here in case if you see me looking this way i i put some things down so that i don't forget some things i really want to say lemon is a popular fruit for sure there is no country that will see that they have not heard or have this lemon. You can, what we are discussing here today, you, if you don't have lemon, you can use lime. But I chose lemon because lemon has a little bit higher benefit to our body than lime. Lemon is seen almost everywhere in the world. It has lots of benefits. And why is it beneficial to our body? Because it is packed with vitamin C and flavonoids. These antioxidants are good to take care of free radicals. They are good to, are good to cleanse our body. Everybody in this life, in this planet, Earth needs vitamin C. If you don't have vitamin C, you are just like an empty body. You have just open your body to different kinds of sicknesses. You have opened your body to different kinds of uh, health issues. But if you always have enough of vitamin C in your system, you are ready to stand. And that sickness, will, will, it, will take its, it will take the sickness a lot of work to penetrate in you because vitamin C is what that is, is one antioxidant that our body really needs. And having one of these in a day <clears throat> or two of it in a day you have you have met the the kind of the level of, of vitamin c you're supposed to have in a day so that is why i say this is a powerful fruit you need vitamin c in your body and this alone has provided you with that vitamin c <clears throat> <clears throat> so i have this question how many, how many people are there today that are suffering from indigestion, acid reflux, maybe having constipation, having suffer, uh, struggling with weight, having uh, kidney stones? There are a lot of things. How many people right there? If you're watching me and you are going through some of the things I have just mentioned or the things we are going to mention as we go on, please let us know in the comment. Because this, the live stream, this time, I want us to be chatting and be telling ourselves the truth and be contributing to what we're discussing about. There are a lot of problems people pass through, but they're not, they don't know that what they have in their house can be able to take care of their issues. So going to the benefits of what we're going to benefit from this fruit, the first thing I'm going to be talking about is weight loss. If you know any benefit as we are discussing, you can also be writing them on the screen, on the comment section, so that people will also be reading and know the benefit of this. Weight loss. We also, many people, let me not say we, many people today uh, struggle with weight, how to lose their weight, how to get rid of excess fat, excess body fat, so belly fat. But if you have lemon and you are determined to achieve a lot of results from that weight loss, you're going to you're going to start. You have to put this in consideration. You must make lemon. And how do you make this lemon? How do you make it? It's just with warm water and the lemon juice, and that is what we call lemon water. 
I know many of us have heard about lemon water, but we might see it as a very simple thing. It doesn't give much. We can't benefit much from it. But if you make it a duty and be drinking this every day, hardly will you fall sick. Hardly will you fall sick because the vitamin C is preventing you from those free radicals that we always get. We all go out, we breathe in for good air, bad air, contaminated air, we breathe them in us. If you have vitamin C that can stand and not make a way that we are not allowed those kind of uh, contaminated air that we are breathing in to cause sickness for us, we are doing good. So what, what do what do lemon water do for weight loss? It makes you not to feel hungry. It makes you satiated that you will, it will keep the hunger away from you. And the best way to make this lemon water and drink it before and drink it for weight loss is to drink this before, uh, before you eat your meal. Drink this lemon water before you eat your meal every time you want to eat heavy food, especially those times. We all know the time we eat our heavy food, especially lunch or dinner. Drink lemon water 15 to 20 minutes before you eat your food. You will notice that you will not consume a lot that you are going to be, be feeling guilty because sometimes you eat food and you're guilty of eating it because you wouldn't want to add the weight. Nobody wants to be, have that excess weight. No, nobody wants to be obese. But sometimes because of our of our test cravings, our, our cravings make us to add that, those excess weight. So having lemon by your side, you are good to go. Lemon is very, very good for weight loss. It's going to help to bring down, you know, most of us today, our heavy food are packed with lots of carbs. And that carbs, when, when digested into our body, it resulted to sugar. But lemon helped to wash and they will remove those excess sugar out of your system. It has, it, it has helped you to remove those excess uh, sugar that will make you to add weight. You have taken the lemon water before you eat your meal. That is one thing that you will gain if you really want to lose weight. Add lemon water to your meal. Add it to your meal. Drink it before you eat your meal and you're going to achieve a lot from it. And the next thing I'm also going to be discussing about lemon is indigestion. I know many of us suffer from indigestion. <laughs> many of us are always bloated, constipated. We are suffering from constipation because we are not giving our body the right thing that will help our food to digest. We are not doing it. Lemon is one of the best things you can put in your body for digestion. It's the best thing you can put in your body. If you really want to digest your food, lemon is the best that you can use. Yes, I say that. Because they help prepare your enzymes that will help in your digestion. If you're always constipated, drink lemon water. I drink my lemon water first thing in the morning. <clears throat> I drink it first thing in the morning before even I, before I even brush my mouth because one thing that you, well, the reason why I do it or the reason why you have to do it in the morning before you wash your mouth is the acidity in lemon is not all that good for your enamel, enamel, your gums. So you you drink it, then you wash your mouth so that your gums are healthy and clean. And it also gives you, this is another reason why lemon water is also good for you. It gives you that fresh breath. When you use, when you drink lemon water, your breath is always fresh because it has cleaned your mouth. It's very, very good. And if, if you want to drink it without brushing your mouth or maybe you're drinking it before your meal, me personally, I use straw. <laughs> I use straw to always drink my lemon water because I wouldn't want it to touch my gums. 
my enamel. So this is another way you can drink it if you really don't want, if you don't want to wash your mouth before after drinking it then use straw to drink it when you make it. Indigestion is not something that we shall suffer from because it makes you uncomfortable. Your food is not digesting. You will be bloated. You will be gassing anyhow. All those things are... You might see it as a simple sickness, but it is not. When you are suffering from indigestion, people that have suffered it will understand what I'm talking about. I used that for three months. That case with one water on the other hand for my plenty. Thank you so much, uh, Solen Aquino, for testifying with us about the lemon water. I know many of us do drink this. We do. Many people now. This very is lemon is one of the super food in the world now. Many people have come to realize the importance of lemon. So many people are using it. And there is no one that have come out and say lemon does not have any benefit. No one can say that. <laughs> no one can say that because it has lots of wonderful and amazing benefits. So the next point I'm also going to be talking about here is liver detoxification. Lemon cleanses our liver. We all know liver. Liver is the, the biggest part of the, of the body. Talking about our stomach, the, that organ is the biggest organ of our body. And it does a lot of work. It, it's work one, of the, one of the work that he does is to detox, cleanse our body. It cleanses, it cleanses us from, the, from all those junk food, processed food, even the contaminated air that we breathe in, liver does that work. And if you give liver this in the morning, oh, your liver will appreciate you. Your liver will thank you. You said, thank you for helping me out. Because if you allow your liver all the time, going through those process of cleaning the body without helping the liver by giving it this, you are not cleansing the liver. You're killing the liver. Detox the liver with lemon. Our, our liver does a lot of work for us. And we have to always cleanse it. Because its work is to detoxify us, detoxify the body. Like I used to say, this body is all we have. Invest in your body. Wealth, uh, sorry, health is wealth. People say, well, health is wealth. So invest in your health and you are good to go. If you're not healthy, that is not how you're going to make more money, my dear. So invest in your health so that you will, you know, be able to have the strength to do wonderful things for yourself and for your family. The next thing that we also benefit from lemon is cold. We all have common cold. We all suffer from cough. The season is the season, winter season is fast approaching. The weather is changing. People are coughing. Allergies. People are starting to have allergies. Lemon is one food that you need. You need it. You need it. You need lemon. And for cold, the way I do mine, if I have cold, I add lemon juice. I cook, I use a, a, a peppermint tea, peppermint tea or mint tea. You cook it, you, you boil water, put the tea, after five minutes, you add it lemon water and you add ginger powder or turmeric powder. Add honey. Mix it very well. Drink it. Your nose will be clear. Just try it. This three, two, three times of this recipe I just said now will give you a relief to sleep, a relief to breathe in freely. Lemon is very, very good for cold and cutter. For cold, cough, all those stuffy nose, allergies, you need this. You need it. I am, this I'm saying now, I'm talking from experience. I don't 
drink any medication for cold. I was, I'm saying it now. By the grace of God, I am still going to say it again. I don't drink any medication for cold. People do take uh, antibiotics when they have cold. I don't. I go it naturally. I just this recipe I just said now is what I use to take care of my cold and cough. And I give it two, three days, I am okay. I am good to go. I am good to go. So cold and cough is one thing that many is, uh, are things that people suffer mostly when the weather is about to change. People have allergies, different kinds of allergies. And this recipe I also said now, is also good for unclogging your arteries. It's also good for opening those closed arteries because they are good for your body. Lemon, honey, ginger, with any mint tea will help you a lot for cold and cough. I have I have I have said something, I have said a little about lemon giving you that freshness of breath. That freshness of breath is good. If <laughs> I don't think nobody would like to stay where somebody that's whenever the person talks, you know, the kind of uh, the kind of air, or the, the smell or the odor of something coming out from the person, the person, personally, I do not like it. So if you have somebody like that, advise the person to be using, to be also be, to be drinking lemon water most of the time. It will really help the person to, to re reduce that bad smell, bad uh, coming out when the person talks. Lemon freshes, it helps to freshen our breath. It is very, very necessary. Another thing that also, you know, do you know that, let me say this, do you know that lemon helps you to get rid of smell of garlic and onion? If you eat onion or garlic, drink lemon water. It helps, or you lick lemon or the 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 juice, the little of it will go a very long way in cleaning and giving you that fresh breath. The smell of garlic and onion will leave this your mouth. That is what lemon can help you to achieve. Lemon also nourishes our skin. Both the, the in, in nourishing our skin, <laughs> if you are if you drink the lemon juice. It nourishes your skin. You use the lemon peel. It also helps you with acne, pimples, and all those things. So lemon has a lot of wonderful benefits. There are a lot of things you benefit from lemon. The, for, for cleaning, for helping us to nourish our skin. Lemon, because of the vitamin C in it, in lemon also helps to build our collagen. Our, the collagen that give us that good looking skin. Lemon helps you to build that collagen because of the vitamin C that it has. And the another thing that lemon, I have, I have said something similar to what I'm about to say, which is reducing our inflammation. When you have cold, your, your body is not, your immune system, your immune system have been weakened from because of the free radicals that have, that have come close to you, so we all need to add lemon so that it will, it will reduce those inflammation causing us problems. And if you're suffering from arthritis, you have inflammation inflammatory issues. If you're always having pain, God, and all those kind of uh, troubles. You need lemon because it helps to detoxify your body. It helps to cleanse your body. It reduces those chronic inflammation in our body. Lemon is very, very important in bringing down the pain. If you are always having, if you are, if you are, if you have arthritis, uh, gout, or all those kind of sickness, please add lemon to your diet. There are many ways you can use lemon. Apart from drinking it 
as lemon water. You can use it, sprinkle the juice in your salad, in your food. It cleanses your food. Many people do that. They can they eat whenever they want to eat food. They first of all add few drops of lemon juice. Why? Because the lemon juice cleanses that food from from causing harm to your body. It helps them with digestion. And the vitamin C, I'm going to go in, I will come across what I'm about to say. The vitamin C in lemon helps us to absorb the nutrients in the food we eat. That is why when you drink it before your meal, it helps your body also to absorb the nutrients. And do you know, we all, some, some of us, we, our body do not absorb the nutrients that we eat because we are lacking that vitamin C in our system. But lemon will be able to give you enough vitamin C that will help you, that will help your body to absorb the nutrients in the food that you eat. If you can sprinkle it in your food, in your salad, if you cannot drink the lemon water. There are different ways you can add this wonderful fruit to your meal. And it happens to be that the color is my favorite color. <laughs> Lemon is very, very important in what we eat, in what we do. It, it helps you to take care of different kinds of sicknesses. Believe me, there are many things we can take care of on our own if we follow it the right way. If we do things we are, the way we are supposed to do it, we can take care of some issues. Like today, like, like people say, I am having a headache. I have been suffering from headache for two days, three days, four days, one week, I'm still having this headache. Do you drink enough, a lot of water? Are you dehydrated? Because dehydration is one reason why people suffer headaches all the time. There are, there are many reasons, but dehydration is the first point, is the first reason why many people suffer that they would suffer a headache because their body is dehydrated. Their body needs water. It craves for water. And when you drink that water, you add it lemon juice. It does more things for your body. It cleanses you. So there are a lot of things we can help our body to, to do for us without, you know, because we are what we eat. What you give your body is what your body is going to work with. So the next point that we are going to also talk about here is that lemon is an energy boost. It boosts your energy. It boosts your energy. Drinking this in the morning will help you a lot to do a lot for yourself because it has boosted your energy. It cleanses your body. You know, when you are, when you have uh, toxins in your body, it weakens you, it weakens your muscles, it weakens your bones. You won't be able to do a lot for yourself because your body is packed with toxins. But when you cleanse your body, for example, you do this every day in the morning, even if you just do it that morning, if you're not, uh, if you're not opportuned or if you didn't do it again that day, Drinking this at least once every day we have a lot to give to your body. And when you do that, it cleanses you. It makes it gives you that freshness of energy. Your energy is boosted because it has detoxified the body, remove the waste, sort of rejuvenate you to you know to do what you're supposed to do. That is how this boosts your energy by cleansing your body, and removing SX toxins. We eat a lot of junk. Yes, we do. And it's sweet. When we're eating junk, we enjoy them. But healthy food, sometimes we do not enjoy it. If I ask you now, many people do not want to drink lemon water. They wouldn't want to add this to, your, to their food because it doesn't taste delicious. It doesn't taste the way they want their food to taste. But this is what your body needs to stay more stronger. We might enjoy our food, our junk food, our any everyday food, 
but try to detox, try to clean your body for, for the freshness of your body, for the freshness of your organs, and for the freshness of that energy that we need. We can't do anything if we don't have the energy. <laughs> if you wake up in the day, in the morning, and you're not able to come out, come out of your bed, you see, you cannot be able to achieve anything that day. Another thing that we also another thing that lemon also does for us is it fight it fight against infections. It fight against infections, building your immune system, making you to stand strong when sickness comes, when uh, 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 like cold, cough, all those things come. Your body is boosted. You'll have that. Your energy is boosted to become a barrier between you and that infection so and this also cleanses our lungs our lungs breathe in we breathe in fresh air we breathe in contaminated air we breathe in different kind of things and this will help our lungs to stay clean so that we will have that good breathing so it fights against infection. It it uh, it cleanses our long uh, lungs uh, uh, congestions, those mucus in in us. Have you have have you? I know many of us. This this thing is something that everybody almost suffer from. When you have cold, your nose you have that stuffy nose. One is closed, one is open. <laughs> Sometimes two of them are closed. You cannot breathe. That is one of the serious sickness that people do suffer every day. Lemon will help you a lot to, to reduce and to clean your mucus, congested nose, stuffy nose. Lemon will help you to make them to be free for you to be able to sleep and feel better. Another thing that can also help you for that, which is nothing that can help you for that, I have mentioned it in the recipe I just said, is ginger. Ginger has a powerful, powerful uh, uh, strength, power to cleanse you from congested nose. That's those mucus that are making you, you know, not to feel free when you have cold. And the next thing that lemon also does for you and I is to bring down our blood pressure. If your blood pressure is high, consider drinking lemon water. Lemon water is good. It helps your blood to flow. Normally, it helps your heart. It helps your cholesterol. It brings down your bad cholesterol. It detoxes you from those bad cholesterol. That is one thing that we also benefit from lemon. Okay, if you have somebody, somebody is uh, saying that he drank it and it caused him ulcer. It depends on it depends on uh, what you how you drink it, or depends on what you ate after drinking it. You know, sometimes we we eat different things and we say that one thing or the other which it might not be the cause of it if you drink it you might not take a little you might not take too much of it but you go with much water the little of lemon goes a long way you might not drink the same quantity of you might not drink the same quantity somebody that do not have ulcer we drink that is what you can do and you try it that way and you will see if it also gives you the same problem. You see, now Noma replied what I just said. Now he just said the same thing I said. He said lemon doesn't cause ulcer. You might eat different things at the same time, but you wouldn't know what caused the problem. Lemon. Lemon water, lemon with water do not cause you ulcer. Just check what the problem might be.
Thank you, thank you, Noma, for contributing to the chat. I appreciate you for for replying her and I thank you so much for doing that. Thank you, Esther Chica, for also appreciating what uh, Norma said. I thank you for contributing to our live chat today. So, lemon is good to take care of a lot of things in our body. And lemon just have few calories, just almost zero cal calories. About three calories is what lemon has. So, you see, it doesn't count. It doesn't cost much. Like people always watch their calories, how much they eat and all that. So adding lemon to your food is not going to make you eat more than the calories you want to eat any day. Instead, it's going to make you to feel much better because it does not cost you of much calories. Do you have kidney stones? Have you been diagnosed of kidney stones? <laughs> then lemon is your friend. <laughs> lemon should be your friend because it melts, it dissolves, it presses the kidney so stones so that you can pass them freely through your pee. So kidney stone should consider lemon as the healer. Lemon is very, very good for kidney stones. It's good in cleaning the, the, the kidneys of those stones. But while you're doing all these things with lemon, I have to point it here. I have to note this thing down, please. While you're using this lemon, make sure you're drinking lots of water. Make sure you're diluting the lemon with water. Don't drink fresh lemon because the acidity in it, it is, is not good for our body. So dilute the lemon juice with water. And while you're doing this, always drink lots of water. Do you know that water is the best liquid? <laughs> it's the best thing you can drink with no side effects. It does not cause any side effect. The only people that might that might reduce the quantity of water they are taking, if you have a CKG, if you have that uh, CKG disease, that this your stage is you're on stage five, then you have to speak to your daughter, to your you have to speak to your doctor so that your doctor will tell you the quantity of water you need to be drinking. But any other person, any other human, any other kind of pet people should always drink lots of water. Water is what we need. Our body needs water to hydrate us. You need to be hydrated all the time. Hydration is the key to good health. If you're always dehydrated, you are causing much harm than good. And water is always available. It doesn't cost much for you to have water. It does not cost much for you to have a bottle of water and drink. If you if you always make if you make pee pee and your pee pee is very yellow, dark yellow, you are dehydrated. You are dehydrated. You need water. You need water. There are many ways you can. Add water to your meal through smoothies, through juices, through through different through drinking the water, even making the making food water. Even if you find it difficult to be drinking just normal water all the time, why not add some fruit in it? You add you add some lemon water. You add some sorry. You add some lemon juice. You can add strawberry, pineapple, apple into into that water so that you are able to drink more water because that is what your body needs. So, thank you so much, Esther. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I thank you everyone that have joined us today. There are a lot of things 
that lemon can do for us. But with these ones I, I mentioned, I tried to cover much of what lemon can offer to our body. But if you have any other point or anything you think lemon have done for you or somebody you know, please don't forget to drop it on the comment section because we all here are here to learn from each other. Because somebody else, somebody watching this is going to learn something from your comment. So please don't forget to drop your comment. Don't forget to contribute to what we're discussing today because your comment might be a relief to somebody that is in need of it. Your comment is a very re big relief to somebody somewhere that will come across this video. So please don't forget to share your comment, share your testimony, share your view on this because lemon is everywhere in the world. It's something that everyone can lay their hands on and it is very, very healing. Everyone needs this. Nobody on this planet uh, that we say, I do not need lemon. You must need it for one thing or the other. There must be something it will do for you. If it does not help you to clean, to clean your arteries, it will help you to detox you, to help you with indigestion and constipation. It will help you with your kidney stones. It helps you to lose weight, shed belly fat. It will help to cleanse your liver. It will help you to fight against infection, cold, cough. There are a lot. It will help you to lower your cholesterol, lower blood pressure. This is a wonderful fruit. That is why I call it a wonderful food that everyone needs. One fruit that you must have in your kitchen. You must have it in your kitchen. So, somebody asked, Somebody asks if you can take lemon every day or should you take it only when you have an ailment? Lemon, add it to your diet. Take it, lemon water. It does not mean that you're going to drink a packet of lemon water. You might just cut half of this, half of a lemon, squeeze out the juice, add in a cup, put water, warm water, if preferably, if you are, can lay your hands on warm water if you're in the house and you drink it, just one cup a day will do a lot of things for you. You can do it every day. It does wonderful things for you. Unless you're having, you started having, so it's, your stomach is not accepting it or you are, you are reacting negatively to it, then you can reduce the quantity of the lemon you add. You can go three times of this. Of this we help you. So drinking lemon water every day is not something bad, but drink lots of water. The loss of water would neutralize any side effect that it might cause. But for me, lemon might not cause side effect if you take it properly. If we do it properly, it will not cause any harm to you. So, that is what I have come to share with you today. If there's anything you want to contribute, I'm trying to go through all the comments to know if there is something I have to answer. Thank you so much, William. Thank you. I appreciate you for, for your comment. I thank you so much. So, in conclusion, to this video we are doing today. Please, my wonderful people, add lemon. Always from the habit of taking lemon. No matter how bad you hate the test, no matter how bad you think the test, people say the test is disgusting. Please, it's good for your health. I have said you can add it, different another fruit that will make you to drink it, or you can just drink it with water. You are good to go. So, add, add lemon water to your meal and it's going to help you a lot to detoxify your body, to help you to stand strong, to fight against infections, make your body to work well for you. Don't allow anybody to deceive you that lemon does not have any healing effect. It does. 
So if somebody is telling you lemon does does have a bad effect on your body that is not healing your body, <laughs> the person is is lying. I'm telling you because lemon has wonderful benefit it offers to us. So that's what I have come to share with you today. I hope you all enjoyed this live chat today and I will bring I will bring it to the end by saying I appreciate you all. Thank you for everyone that have joined today. I hope to see you again next weekend for our next live chat. But within the week, you will be seeing my video. A video is coming up tomorrow. I hope you support by subscribing if you have not yet subscribed. If you find any of my video helpful, please don't forget to give it thumbs up share with us comment at least you're encouraging one or two people that will help me a lot for youtube to be able to show my video to other people to see i appreciate you all those that commented those that joined those that watched even if you didn't comment i thank you and i know you will comment next time thank you and may you all achieve all that you want to achieve this week that we just entered. May all that you put your hands to do flourish in the name of Jesus. Thank you all and God bless you all. Bye-bye.